Hi guys and girls, how are you all doing today? Welcome to a new episode of Paul's Halls. Haven't done one for a while, so I said let's uh, let's let's get some stuff and do a Paul's Hall. And uh, as you as you can see, um, I have a very wide angle going on today because I just got this new GoPro Hero Six, and I figured. Let me uh, try it out and see what it looks like on this, I think it's called like super zoom or super view mode uh, or something like that. I think it's pretty sweet and I hope you think it's pretty sweet. Anyway, check this out. Today, we're going to be unboxing some stuff from Shout Factory. They have their uh, October Halloween sale going on right now and... Everything or mo most things uh, on the website are 40% off right now, Blu-rays and, and everything. So when a sale like that pops up, it's very difficult for me to resist. So I figured let's open this guy up and see what we got. I think uh, as of this recording, the sale is still going on. So if you want to hop over to Shout Factory and pick up some stuff for yourself, you know, go ahead and do that. Uh, you know, of course, if you're watching this video like April 2023 or something, it's probably not still going on, but you never know. All right, cool. We got some fun stuff here. I was hoping that all three of my purchases were going to be in the same box, and they are. So, up first... It is George Romero's original classic, Day of the Dead, which I have not owned on Blu-ray up until now. So I'm very happy to have this in my collection now. I've been waiting to get it for a while. I saw the price. I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off for a second and wait for a sale. Let me open this up. It's actually been quite a while since I've seen this movie. Um, I'm a huge George Romero fan, but this one was always my least favorite of the um, original trilogy. Um, a lot of yelling, a lot of, a lot of anger. So I'm actually really interested to give it another go and, you know, see if I feel a little bit different about it. Um, but let's take a look at what we got on this release from Scream Factory. Hold that up right there for a second for y'all to take a look at. Sorry about the glare. There we go. Alright, cool. So we have a new high-definition transfer. This, of course, has been out for a while. This isn't like a new release or anything. Uh, new documentary, World's End, The Legacy of Day of the Dead. Audio commentary with writer-director George A. Romero, special effects artist Tom Savini, production designer Cletus Anderson, and actress Lori Cardile. Behind-the-scenes footage from special makeup effects artist Tom Savini's archives. That's really cool. Photo galleries, theatrical trailers, TV spots, and more. So, per usual with uh, Scream Factory stuff, loaded with some really great special features really looking forward to checking this one out it is 101 minutes long it came out in 1985 and is in color on the inside we got some disc art there you go i'm loving this uh super super wide angle lens really lends to uh being able to show this stuff off and then per usual we have some reversible original Day of the Dead artwork. Super, super cool. Love that. I'm going to watch that tonight. I'm watching some Day of the Dead tonight. Up next, we got two more, and up next is something I'm very excited about. It is Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell, which came out in 2009. Uh, if you haven't seen it, highly recommend checking this one out. 
and I'm super happy to have this on Blu-ray. It says the all-new collector's edition, unrated and theatrical cuts of the film, plus interviews with actresses Allison Lohman and Lorna Raver. So there is a look at the very nicely designed slip cover. Might have to take that sticker off to get the full effect. Hopefully it will uh, come off without too much of a problem. This camera is is three inches from my face. It's pretty amazing actually how wide they uh, they got this lens on here. But you can also change it. There's a super super wide lens. There's a regular wide lens, and then there's just a a regular lens. So you got three options on it. Anyway, um, let us open this up and take a look. Of course, it is the same artwork right there. And let me go ahead and open this up. Okay, so here is a look at the back. You know what? Let me show you the slipcover back. There's a little bit less glare, actually. That's pretty cool right there. And we also got a lot of special features going on. So disc one, the theatrical version of the film, new HD master of the theatrical cut taken from the 2K digital intermediate production video diaries featuring interviews with director Sam Raimi and actors Allison Lohman and Justin Long. Theatrical trailer. And then on disc two, we have the unrated version, uh, new HD master of the unrated cut, new to Helen back, an interview with Allison Lohman, new curses, an interview with actress Lorna Raver. There she is right there on the back. Boom. And new hitting all the right notes, an interview with composer Christopher Young. Uh, as I said, it came out in 2009. It is uh, 99 minutes, and it's in color. Let's take a look at the inside right here real quick. All right. This is cool. We have the original artwork right there, and then we have the new artwork as well. So that's pretty sweet. And then, once again, the original artwork underneath it, which is also quite nice. Always nice to have that option. I, I always appreciate it when Scream Factory does that. Drag me to hell. Last, but certainly not least, one of my all-time favorite movies, period. Love it so much. It's Bubba Hotep. Oh, hell yeah. Let me open this guy up. All right, here is a look at the very nice new artwork. Super, super cool. And let's take a look at the back. Lots of special features, new audio commentary with author Joe R. Lansdale, new interviews with director Don Coscarelli, Bruce Campbell, and special makeup effects supervisor Robert Kurtzman, audio commentary by director Don Coscarelli and Bruce Campbell, audio commentary by The King, deleted... <laughs> That's awesome. Deleted scenes with optional commentary... Uh, by Don Coscarelli and Bruce Campbell, the making of Bubba Hotep featurette to make a mummy makeup and effects featurette fit for a king Elvis costuming featurette rock like an Egyptian featurette about the music of Bubba Hotep. Joe R. Lansdale reads from Bubba Hotep a music video, a photo gallery, original theatrical trailer and a TV spot. Tons, tons of special features on this Blu-ray release from Scream Factory. Love it. I'm telling you, this is genuinely one of my top 10 movies of all time. I just, I saw it um, in a theater when it first came out and just fell in love with it. 
Got some nice disc art right here. And yep, we have the original artwork right there, very nice. And I will admit that I have, where is it? I have the DVD of the film. And I was watching it, I don't know, a couple years ago. Um, and I, you know, I have a 4K TV and, and, and a DVD transfer a lot of times just does not hold up for me anymore. So this was one that I wanted to get on Blu-ray and I'm really happy that I finally have it, but I will certainly be holding on to my DVD and cherishing it because it is signed by Don Coscarelli, the director of the film himself, who I got to meet at a screening uh, in Chicago. Tremendously nice guy, uh, really cool getting a chance to meet him and get his autograph right there. So I'll definitely be hanging on to my DVD. Maybe I'll uh, run into him again at some point and he can sign my new Blu-ray. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Um, I got I got some fun stuff to look forward to. Uh, like I said, I think the sale is still going on. So if you need some spooky, you know, October movies, head on over to Shout Factory or Scream Factory and pick up some Blu-rays for pretty cheap. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time.